future plans to have more kids? Do you want more kids in the future? Uh, I always knew I wanted to be a mom. I always knew I wanted to have 12 kids. So one day, one on the way, and how was the last 10 to go? So. Hi, Krishan. How are you adjusting to your new life and your new home as a mom? So how I'm adjusting to my life as a mother is to just grow with it, roll with the punches, and have fun with it. Um, I've been having fun being his mom. When I found out when I was pregnant, I was hoping it was a boy, but I felt like it was a girl. I don't know, maybe because I'm a girl, and I honestly wanted a girl and wanted a boy. I probably wanted a girl more. <laughs> like my mom, my mother had 12 kids and I'm the 11 and me and my little brother is the 12. She had golden kids. So with my hectic life, um, for nine months straight, it was way more hectic than this. But my whole nine months, I, I stayed still. Just handling what was in front of me, like, okay, dropping music or film this TV, toxic TV show. I was like, I don't want to drop music right now. I'm not in that spirit to drop music. I didn't really have time to think about, okay, let's drop music. It was more like, just take your time with every, like, I was trying to take my time. I didn't want to take away from my vision, so I just held off for it for nine months straight. And when the baby dropped, I'm like, yes, here, let's go, Junior. He just gave me so much joy. So I just was so happy. I was amped up. I was motivated. I get to work with Fashion Nova. I get to do this. I get to do that. I get to... <laughs> How I heard about Fashion Nova when I was a little girl. And Cardi B was really popping that shit about Fashion Nova. Then had her own line and shit. I was like, Fashion Nova must be cool to wear because she making that shit look good. So then I became a brand ambassador when I had like 200,000 followers. And then when I started getting the clothes, I was like, oh, I like this shit for real. But then when I elevated and became like more famous and stuff, I got back into Fashion Nova because it started showing love. You guys have great hospitality. You know how to treat your models and brand ambassadors. The closet is cute, y'all. I think what I want to do first, hold on, what am I feeling? I think that me being a mom, I need to change my style. I, was, I honestly was taking my time because I was handling things with my son's surgery and stuff in Baltimore. So I was kind of, I didn't really make time to shop. I didn't make time to be a girly girl. So I kind of, I was in my tomboy area, okay? So I, I just thank God that something pushed me to do something girly. My advice for all the people that's, I don't know, that's new to the mommy shit, I think you have to stay positive and give yourself enough time to breathe and think when you need it. Okay, so fashion, I don't know what they did, but they made some Timberland boot heels. Fuck are you talking about? It was comfortable. With them all day, and I didn't take them off. Usually, you take heels off, even the ones that look like this. Okay, so I want my legacy to be remembered by staying true to myself and love and God. I don't know, and share my testimony. Welcome to the backyard. Me and Junior, home is so beautiful. If I ever have some. An episode where I need a break, have family. I will take a walk in my backyard and take deep breaths and thank the Lord. Because what the fuck? Hold up. Make some noise. <laughs> this is awesome. What the fuck? And I'm so thankful Fashion Nova is, is a part of this, this vlog. I always wanted to document my success. And you guys are doing it great. Woo! And the reason why I won't take these hospital bands is because first of all, I put it in order at the jeweler, Raphael. Hey, Mike, he's making my bangles, my gold. It's gonna look like this, but with a plate with all the data. Then I'm gonna might cut these off, but this is history, this is love, this is, oh no, it's just so sentimental, it's just so hard, and who else is doing it? It took a lot to get here. I wouldn't change anything that I went through. Every 
failure or disappointment turn into a lesson. I'm just thankful for the people along the way because it really matters. It really does. Now, I like to be around people that know, know God and have a relationship with God because that's what journey I'm on. So it's like when I tend to mix with people that don't have that, it never works and it always backfires. Or I'm always in a situation where I'm sad about, I don't know. Just be grateful for the relationships you do have and you do make. And just cherish them.